we live in a society now where the tough questions, the tough comments are being neglected. What am I talking about? The value of men, of course. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been something that's kind of been degrading for the past years or so because the culture that we're living in now is that if a man does not make this amount of money, they don't deserve this type of female. That's what we've led to believe, right? Why? Because we live in a society where we have certain females that tends to believe that a man needs to provide for their entire existence for them to be considered men. Have you ever wondered the exact moment, the exact second, the exact amount of days that it would take for a woman to pull out their wallets and pay? <laughs> well, neither do I. I've always wondered, but I, I, I never really got into the answer. Today, we're gonna be watching a video of this gentleman sitting in a room full of women, and he's put out a position to answer that very tough question. So let's check that out. Let's have one more question. We had this person at the back in the stripes. Um, yeah, let's hear from you. Um, during the dating period, you know, after like four or five months of dating, um, I just wondering at what point does it get, do you have to pay, did the woman have to pay when they go out? The guy is asking that I should, there should be half and half. The second date? I pay for the first date. I would assume the second date you would ask me out and you pay for that. I mean, I thought that answer would be obvious. <laughs> That's my take on it. Half at that point when you already... Uh, at what point? When you already been dating for four or five months. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay. Uh, to, to give you a quick answer on, firstly, I think we should just deal with the who should pay thing to begin with. Who, when you're on a date, who should... I'm, I'll answer that question. I believe you're sitting in a room full of females. What do you think the answer is going to be? Absolutely, man, man. That's what they're going to say. Men is supposed to pay. Pay. Okay. I know, I mean, that's what I told them, you know, I'm sorry, but, I say, you da I'm dating, we're dating you, but know, here's the gentleman here, you're here, supposed okay. to pay. He's supposed you, to pay. Yeah, that's you're what I told him. But you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> whenever Walt what's, wanted, where, right? where, 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 but what's the, where does this double standard come from? <laughs> but he's supposed to pay, though. If he's supposed to pay, what are you supposed to do? I'm not saying to do that, right? I'm not saying that you're supposed to, you know, to have that, especially if you're not married yet, right? Let's keep it PG here. Um, but if there's a, if there's, there's, if there's a clear distinction between what a man is supposed to do and what a female is supposed to do throughout a dating period, what, what part do you play in it? That's my question uh, to you, female, that, that, that has that same ideology, right? What is your role? If he's supposed to pay every time that we go out, what is your role? Please let me know. Sorry, it's the reality. You guys can, you can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, you have to fucking pay for my time, you're saying this relationship isn't equal. This relationship isn't equal. My time is worth more than yours, so you should pay for it. Simple as that. <laughs> if he's supposed to be every time that you guys go out, that means he's paying you to go out, right? You don't have the will to go out with him unless he's going to pay for the date. That's what it's saying here. Like, are you poor? Are you broke? But even if you were broke, like, invite him over. Cook him some, you know, ramen noodles or something. But as you guys put it here, He's supposed to pay. He's paying for your time. Simple as that. He's, he's paying for your time. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, you weren't taught right. 
if you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. <laughs> I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. Every single time I ask you out, right? And not one time I see you like pull a card out. You know the bill is sitting right there on the table. But all of a sudden you gotta take a call. All of a sudden, yeah, I gotta hop into the bathroom. You know, I'll be back. At the exact second, that the bell comes out. That's when you have to do all of that. I kid you not. If 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 I if if I was dating a female like that, and I see that pattern every time. By every time I mean on a second date. I, I'm not give fool me three times. It's never gonna happen. But um, <laughs> if that were to happen on a second date, you don't offer to pay. Um, you don't say, hey, do you want to go half and half? Obviously, I'm a man, right? Uh, right. That's 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 how you see us. We're a man. We're supposed to handle it, right? But um, if I don't see you. Offer any type of, hey, I'll, I'll pull out my card. I got this. Yeah, you're not seeing me for a third time. You're going to wonder why I never invited you out again. Even if you invite me out, I'll probably be like, yeah, I'm straight. I'm good. I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most polite they're ever going to be. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, <laughs> what does that say about my future? But I... I, look, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would, I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. And I wouldn't apply a different standard to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. And maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If he says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend, and it's 1,500 bucks a night, and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go and I want to take you. Great. That's what that is, right? Or... If you both agree to go on holiday and you have a fifth of his earning potential, you say, I want to contribute to a fifth of this holiday. It's overly simplistic, but you get what I'm saying, right? I will contribute on the level I can contribute. Let me tell you what means something to a guy. Trying. That means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying to contribute, that's when he feels used. Because any guy who's really confident and self-respecting if the woman never is even trying to contribute, he feels like uh, he's being taken advantage of. As, as long as you show that you're trying to the men, like, it, it's all good. Like, we're going to be good. But when you make it obvious, right, when you make it obvious to that person that, yeah, I'm here, it's just because you're paying. We're going out to whatever restaurant. Oh, yeah, we out. Right? We're out, but yet he's the one paying. You know, we're going out to this, we're going out to that, you know? Who's, who's going to end up with the tab at the end of the night? He is, right? And you show no type of interest into putting any type of amount of money up. And what's your, in, in, the, in the general response that we always get, well, don't go out then if you don't got the money, you know? Don't, don't go out if you got the money. And that's why you're probably single, right? That's probably why. Well, that's probably why you're going on dates after dates after dates after dates. Because why? You're just going out for a free meal. And you wonder why you're 40 years old and you have nobody. Because you're just a user. You just take, 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 take. Uh, <laughs> that's all that you do. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with the lack of gesture. So I would be looking at... If you like this guy, maybe you, if you're in different positions, figure out what you want to contribute proportionately or what you can contribute pro proportionately and treat him as you would your best friend. Treat him as you would with your best friend, right? Imagine that you have a best friend that you go out with here and there, right? Um, that best friend certainly doesn't pay for everything every time that you guys go out. She doesn't, right? I get it, right? You're going out with a man, so a man is supposed supposed uh, to pay primarily of the time. But who's to say what rule 
What rule is there that says that a man is supposed to pay each and every single time that you go out? There's no rule that says that. None at all, whatsoever. So all we need to see as men is just you trying, attempting, right? At least, you know, pull out your card here and there. Hey, and let, let us tell you, it's okay, I got this. And it's like, it's all right. In our head, psychologically, we're thinking, wow, at least she's offering, right? I'm telling you, you probably not gonna be single for long. If a man sees that, that character trait about you, uh, that means you're in a good, you're in a good spot, you know? You're not gonna be 50, 70 years old, single, and still going out on dates and dates and taking free meals, you know? <laughs> you're not gonna be that anymore. And for those who have not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified each and every single time that we post a video here at AZ Steak. Have a great one. I'll catch you next time in the next video.